Folks, right here at this desk, night after night, I spend a lot of time slaving over the news griddle, cooking up the really big stories. But sometimes I like to gather all the cast off bits of news gristle and scrape them into the grease trap that is my segment. Meanwhile, the segment that heals a nation. Meanwhile, in local news, a Detroit police officer showed up intoxicated to his breathalyzer training. <laughs> which we know about because he volunteered to be part of a demonstration <laughs> and blew a .08. Now, to put uh, a .08 in perspective, that is drunk enough to think it's a good idea to volunteer for a breathalyzer <laughs> test at a cop school when you know you're drunk. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Zambia, an energy drink has been banned after it was found out to contain Viagra. <laughs> so, obviously, not a soft drink. <laughs> Fresh energy? Is that really it? Fresh energy? Meanwhile, <laughs> it's time for a rare meanwhile update. In January, I brought you the gripping story of Romeo, the world's last Sehuencas water frog, <laughs> and the attempt to save his species after the discovery of Juliet, the world's only known female Sehuencas water frog. <laughs> Biologists were worried if they would even like each other, but they put her in Romeo's tank, and the moment Juliet moved there, Romeo started singing. Oh, I bet he did. He must have a bad case of the blue cloacas. <laughs> Check out what Romeo does once he gets a load of Juliet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the name's Romeo. Check out my Tomios. <laughs> you like that, baby? Now, <laughs> apparently... <laughs> <laughs> That's a... Try that in a bar some night. Well, apparently... The amphibian jazz hands worked because their date was so successful the frogs have been living together in Romeo's aquarium ever since. Now, Romeo, I know my Romeo's making his move. I know, I know that's pretty fast, but sometimes you just meet somebody and feel like there's no one else in the world for you because there is literally no one else in the world for you. Meanwhile, a new study suggests female dolphins have clitorises just like human women. The... Some female dolphins here tonight. <laughs> the finding helps support the theory that sex plays an important role in social bonding among dolphins. and also sheds new light on what's happening on those Lisa Frank trapper keepers. <laughs> Jimmy, we need to blur that. Thank you. We'll be...